Hi, everybody. Hi. So I am going to do a video every day for the month of December. So starting today until December 31st, I am going to do a Christmas decor related video. So this is my first one and I've already prepped these little items. I'm going to make some apothecary type vases, little jarry type things. So what you'll need is, you'll need to go to the dollar tree. tree. Yeah. And what you'll need to do is get, now if you're only going to make one of these and you'll only need to get one of each, you know, you'll need to get enough to make one. I'm making two of these so I got two, enough to make two of these. So you can find these little candy jars. Now you'll, my, at my store they were in one of the aisle way, one of the aisles on an end cap, not in the craft stuff, but closer to the dishware stuff. And they had these little plastic or rubbery type um, rings around them that they fit tight on here and I have taken those off because I'm not using this part of the jar I'm only using the lids okay so since I'm making two I needed two lids so I took those off and you'll put those aside and of course I'll be able to use these for something else like candy you'll need two of these larger vases Okay, so these are just the cylinder type vases. And since I'm making two, I got two of those. You'll need either two of these. Now I'm putting two of these together for one of them to make one taller. So I will be gluing two of them together like this. And then one of them is gonna be shorter so I have one. Now these were glass, they're just the, you know, ones that we see every day people crafting with at the Dollar Tree. I bought some silver spray paint from Ace, um, the Craylon Metallic Special Purpose. Um, it's the bright metallic finish. You can probably get it cheaper at Walmart. Oh, anywhere. Um, you know, a place like that. I went to Ace because that's the only store type thing that I've got near me. And it was an afterthought. So I just went to my local Ace and picked this up. I think it was $5.99. Um, but you can definitely leave it glass. You can use acrylic paints, whatever you want to do. But I am going to spray mine, or I already sprayed mine with the uh, metallic finish in silver. And then I got these round mirrors that you put candles on. And how I prepped those is it had the little rubbery felt type pads, three of them on here, and then the big sticker. So I peeled this sticker off and I took the little rubber mats off of here. As you can see, you can still see where the little mat pads were. I guess it's probably optional if you want to take these off. This is what they are. They're kind of rubbery, felty, and they went on here. I just used a razor blade. I, you know, took most of it off and then I used a razor blade to get the rest of it off. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've seen other people make this type of a thing on YouTube and I, I don't think that they took these off or even spray painted the back side of the mirror because you can't really see it but I just wanted my underneath to be a more finished Shiny. look underneath there but I again I don't think that that is so much necessary um, but I did the back side of mine too. So if you want to do the back side of yours, then by all means do it. If, if not, then leave it be. So I have seen people use hot glue to glue this part of these candlesticks to the mirror. 
Um, and I've also seen people use the E6000. I am opting to use the E6000 because I don't trust hot glue and I don't want to have to re re-glue this time after time because I know that the hot glue gun will pop off. I know that it's not a permanent a permanent glue, especially on this type of um, finish. And I know the E6000 is. So I put glue on the top part of this candlestick and with E6000 it's a bond to bond glue so you want to have it on both surfaces so what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this as best that I can and I'm just going to make a mark on here so that I know where this is going to sit and then I'm going to reapply so that I get a good amount of glue for my bond to bond surface. And then I'm going to replace it on here. I'm going to press it down firmly. And I'm simply just going to leave. And make sure it's don't bite it. Right I'm going to just simply leave that one alone. Okay, and so for this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, the one thing that I noticed at the Dollar Tree is that they are getting in different size candlesticks. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. So I'm applying this to the surface. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to position this in the center. I'm going to lift it. Since it's a sit, since ugh, if I could talk, it's a bond to bond. I'm just going to make sure that that is well covered with glue, and I'm going to make sure that this is well covered with glue as well. Okay, since this likes to leak, I'm going to just set that lid on there, and then I'm going to set this down. Now E6000 needs to dry for a good few hours and it's actually best if you let it dry overnight before you start messing with it. So that's up to you. So let me show you. So this is one of their older candlesticks. If you look at them and you're not paying attention like I was, wasn't paying attention, they pretty much look the same on the shelf and they'll sh until you really look at them and they are different. They are different sizes. Different shapes. Like Emma. Okay, so then when you go to fit this on here, they're different. So for this project, if I was going to not put I was going to make them the same size, you know, the same height, but then I decided, and after consulting with a friend, we decided that it would look best if one, one was two, taller than the other three, one. Four, five, six. And so I decided that I wasn't going to do that. So since this is the oddball, so check. If you're going to match these up, make sure that you're getting two or, you know, matching ones because these are obviously different sizes. This one, it doesn't look like I got enough spray paint on it, but that's okay. It's not going to be that noticeable. Okay, so this is my odd one. So check to make sure that they're matching. Okay, so for one of these, I want it to be taller. So I'm going to glue a second one like this. Okay, so I need to add glue to the rim
of this candle holder on the bottom Now this look like this be bite. Hey Emma. Can I don't want it super super thick because you don't want glue oozing out all over the place. I'm mean, gonna I need to flip this one over and I'm gonna put a lighter. Since this is a bond to bond, you want to put at least a little bit of a layer on that second piece. It'll help your bond. It stinks. It does stink. By the way, don't have bond if it stink. Okay, so this is gonna be my taller one. I'm and gonna, this one's going to be the bottom one. I'm going to give this a good press. Mm. This looks like a jelly sandwich. Yeah. Can hold up. This one looks like this bite. Okay, and so I'm going to... I did something wrong. <laughs> what did I do wrong? It's like that. This one cannot sit like this. It will fall over. I did it wrong, you guys. <laughs> it's okay. I think it's, I'm kind of like. <laughs> you think this one looks like it's white? White. I think I gotta go this way. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. I think I gotta stick it this way. Yeah. Don't do it the wrong way. Yeah, because that... Yeah, is... you guys, I did it wrong. I have to stick that one to that one. Guy, don't it's do real. it like that. It's real. It's real. I'm not going to edit it out because this is like real. Will you go get me the Clorox wipes? It's real. Okay, I better do it wrong. Guys, I could have left it that way, but it would have fallen over really easily. So guys, let's just shh. make sure don't do it like Grandma. Do. Yeah, make sure you don't do it like Grandma. Please don't do it like Grandma. Please don't do it like Grandma. You're good, I tell him. So uh, you probably just saw what I did wrong. In order for this okay. to sit straight, you're going to have to put your glue on right. So I'm going to wipe the glue off. Yeah, don't do it like Grandma, please. Of this, because this is, should be the bottom so that it sits right, you know. But it's not tip, tip over it. So right. it doesn't tip over right. <laughs> it don't tip over to wake it. Like, Emma? It's bare. So. No! So I'm it needs to be sense. like that. Okay, and my glue is leaking out. Gosh darn it, I thought I was going to be making a an error-free video here. Uh, I thought too. They say not to get this on your skin because this glue is a carcinogenic, meaning if it gets absorbed in your skin that it could cause cancer. So, caution. That one, don't put it. Caution to the wiser. Yeah. And by the way, don't tip it like... Okay, so that's the way that it's supposed to be. So the large base part to your tall mirror, okay? Skinny parts glued together on this one so that your big base is at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that... Uh... <laughs> Guys, so then when you turn okay. it over... It looks like a... Your base down here, your base will hold up your candlestick. <laughs> there we go. And then, of course, I need to clean those, but we're gonna put these off to the side to let these dry. And move it away. And let's go to that part, to the next part. So then this part is you're gonna put your lids on it, like yeah. this. Yeah, so we need to get these off. Good point. So I like to use Can this. Can I get an eye help in? Sorry. 
I like to use a razor blade for this, but just be careful that it doesn't slide off of there and accidentally cut you. So go gently and slowly. But it's not ripped. And then, of course, you want to get all of this glue off of here. Do you know those bordering elements to go on here? What's that? Razor. I'm chosen to paint them on the sheet. You can't take it out, Eagle, and I can't take it. No. A wall bit. Can you can do so much with these. You can no, change them. You can put different well, things. You can hang things from down here. But I'm simply just going to put candles in mine. I'm going to be real technical and use my shirt sleeve to dry that off. Okay, and then I'm going to use this as my little lid to make it into an apothecary. Okay, so I want to do the same thing. I want to take my glue and put it on the rim. The girls are up there conjuring up what we're going to put inside the jar, but what they don't know is I already know what I'm putting inside the jar. Okay. And then you want to get this in the center as well. Jesus. And then you want to just make sure that you've got surface to surface glue on there, which I look, it looks good. So you just want to make sure that you're in the middle all the way around. And then you want to leave it like that. Okay? You're doing this. I know. And so then, if you bring this back over, I've got these two candles that I got at Big Lots, and they're LEDs, so you don't have to actually put a flame in them. You just turn them on. And then after this dries, you'll be able to actually lift it up with this. And I may decorate the top of this a bit. And then I made sure that these candles would fit inside. And then you've got this mirror at the bottom, which actually reflects the light. And look how cute that looks. Kind of like an angel I'll put pictures at the end so you guys can see. Let me go out. Yeah. But see how cute that looks? I'll clean up all of the glass to make sure that it's all pretty. Or you can, if you don't want to put candles in there. Are you buying mice? Brooke has this cute little precious moment ornament of a nativity. And it just fits perfectly. And I love that one. So, so you could put something like that. I'll take a picture. You could dangle a star from up above. Full. This is I'll insert sister. a picture here so that you can see it from our view. And I will clean off the top of this one. To put on my scent. Put the lid on. Well, and I, um I really like to wave up the seagull. I will style it in some different ways so that you can guys can see just how absolutely easy these are and how versatile they are. You could use these, you know, just for Christmas if you wanted to make something permanent. Or you could use these for all the different seasons and they're just so, so simple to take cute. off the top. So cute. And, and put a new one in. To put a new one in. And this one I really like to keep. And to change it. That's kind of creepy. Haley's got an eagle. My sister fell eagle. Yeah. And I can't take it out. 
if I love it so much. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, if you could even put these on your craft table and put crafty type things or things that you've made in them. Like? Um, I've got this jar. It was a recycled jar that I put inches on the outside of it. That you bear it. I can stick that in there. And that looks really cute. You could put threads in there. You can put anything in there, yeah, really. Yeah, like this little cute little cutie. And this one is my favorite eagle. I went in with it and every so day. And so cost-wise, the candlestick was a dollar, the mirror was a dollar, the vase was a dollar, and then the candy jar was a dollar. So one, two, three, four. The paint was five ninety nine, but I'm sure you could get it cheaper. And you could use acrylic paint if you don't want to buy the more. spray paint. So, you know, and that's optional. So, you know, you could add another dollar in for that. And then whatever you want to put inside. So really, one, two, three, four, say five dollars, and you've got yourself an apothecary um, type stand that would cost you so much more if you went to Pier 1 Imports or Pottery Barn or something like that. And um, it's just a cute, easy, yeah, easy to put together. And I will add pictures at the end. So I hope you guys join me for this 23 days of Christmas decor. And we hope that you all have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, God bless. Hey guys, you ate TC's. We